Welcome, brothers and sisters, of our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. You are invited to join the praise and worship every Tuesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. With music, prayer, and thanksgiving, let us celebrate our faith and find hope in the Lord. You are invited to the liturgical Bible study of Father Francis Castillo, SDB, every Wednesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. In partnership with the Assumption College Counselors and Sister Ami Hernandez of Verbum Dei Missionaries, Greenbell Chapel is offering free counseling for individuals, couples, and families. You may schedule an appointment through the chapel office or call 7729-8173. The book, It's All About Relationships, by our chaplain, Father Day Conception, is now available again at the chapel office. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is April 25, 2024, and we celebrate the Feast of St. Mark Evangelist. Our presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Please stand and let us join in singing the entrance scene. Jesus Christ is risen today, Alleluia, our triumphant holy day, Alleluia, who did once upon the cross, Alleluia, suffered to Redeem our loss, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and to you, and to my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on and earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we, we adore you, we, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, Grant, we pray, 
that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourself with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon him because he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is sprawling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greetings, as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who is in the skies can rank with the Lord, who is like the Lord among the sons of God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout in the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name, they rejoice all the day, and through your justice, they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia. Together, we proclaim Christ crucified. He is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak new languages, they will pick up serpents with their hands, and they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you will be given a chance to go to Egypt, or perhaps those who have been to Egypt in their pilgrimages, one of the churches you will visit is what they call the Hanging Church. The Hanging Church. But if you will be particular with the things you will see, one of them are pictures of popes. Popes. And you will notice that the first pope they recognize is not Peter. The first pope that they recognize is Mark. Saint Mark. Makikita nyo po dun, si Saint Mark ang unang Santo Papa. But if you ask people, bakit ganon? Because according to history, it was Saint Mark who first visited Alexandria. Alexandria in Egypt. So siya ang kinikilala nilang Santo Papa. Knowing that, and looking at the first reading, iniisip ko, kaya ba sinabi ni Pedro, be humble to Mark? Ano? Ganun ba? Hindi niya pinagdiinan ako ang Santo Papa. Hindi pa ba? Ikaw ang kinikilalang Papa doon. Ano pa? I do not know. I do not know. But perhaps it's good to keep this in mind. Regardless of your statutes in life, the first reading would remind us, be humble. Be humble. The mother of our virtues is humility. Be humble. St. John Maria Benet would say this, three important virtues, and they are humility, humility, humility. The problem of humility is very, it is a very elusive word. They say the moment you have it, you lost it. The moment you say you have it, you lost it. Ano ibig sabihin? Pag sinabi mong, ako lang naman ang humble dito, alam mong mayabang ka. Hindi po ba? No? Ha? Walang nagsasabing, ako ang humble. Walang nagsasabing, taas ang kamay ng humble. Wala. Hindi po ba? No? Because the moment you raise your hands being humble, uh, you contradict yourself. Be humble. Let not your word speak about you, but the way you live your life the way you live your life. How many among us would insist, would insist uh, na ako, ako ang Papa, hindi siya? Or many, how many among us would insist that I have the position and the title and you are giving it to someone? Marami. Marami. Ano po? Marami kong karanasan na Ako yung in-charge ng security ng maraming events. Ano po? Well, people would come and say, hindi mo ba ako kilala? Ano po? Papasukin mo ako. Sabi ko, 
wala po kayo sa registration ah, sabi, hindi mo ba ako kilala? Ano po? How I wish kilala ko siya. Ano po? Mahirap yung ganon. Pinagdudul-dula natin nating sarili. Ano po? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, when you go to heaven, you don't need to say, ah, ito po ang aking credentials. Your credentials will go ahead before you. Do not forget that. Your credential will go ahead before you. Bago ka palang umakyat sa langit, alam na nila kung sino yung umaakyat. Alam na nila. Kaya nga, gawin natin ang dapat nating ginagawa. Ano sabi sa Ibanghelyo? Ipahayag mo ang mabuting balita. Ipahayag mo ang mabuting balita. One of the most popular sayings that they quote under St. Francis of Assisi that many of the Franciscans said, there was nothing written about him, about those words. And what is that? That you go to the town, preach the gospel, talk if necessary. Go to the town, preach the gospel, talk if necessary. Ibig sabihin, you don't need to talk to preach the gospel. Live your life well. Ang mahirap yung tayo ay nagsisimba at sasabihin ng mga tao, simba yan ang simba. Hindi naman nagbabago ang buhay. Hindi po ba? Na? Mabuti pang hindi nila alam na nagsisimba tayo pero maayos ang ating pamumuhay kaysa alam nilang nagsisimba tayo pero salungat ang ating pagkatao. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, it's good to remind ourselves, as many times I have said this, live your life well because you might be the only Bible people are reading today. Amen. Let us all rise and bring to God our prayers and petition. Mark, proclaim the good news of the true Messiah, Jesus Christ, the Christ. Let us ask the Heavenly Father to hear our petitions for a word in need of the hope of the gospel. And every petition let a response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may be a living sign of true concern and dedicated care for those who are rejected by our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who wandered away from the path of righteousness may hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer that young people may hear the voice of our Lord calling them to conversion and to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering or sick may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, assisted by the prayers of St. Mark, faithful herald of the gospel, we bring our intentions before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we venerate the glory of St. Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in preaching the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundation, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children 
gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend few moments of silence. And I invite you, my dear friends, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all of God in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with Saint Mark, and all the blessed apostles, with Padre Pio, Petrochina, and all the saints of pleasure throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world, and grant unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. Also, please consume the host immediately after receiving them in front of the minister. In my heart, I know my 
Savior lives. I can hear Him calling tenderly my name. Over sin and death He has prevailed. In His glory, in His new life we partake. I know He lives as He has promised. For me is reason that from fear I may be free. Not even death can separate me from Him whose love and my remaining. Savior lives, I can hear Him calling tenderly my name. Over sin and death He has prevailed, in His glory, in His new life we partake. For I have seen and touched Him risen. To all the world will I proclaim His majesty. With joy I sing to tell His story that in our hearts may live His memory. In my heart I know my Savior lives. I can hear Him calling tenderly my name. Over sin and death He has prevailed. In His glory, in His new life we partake. And all the earth shall bow before Him. His blessed name will all adore and bend the knee. His truth shall reign. So shall His justice in Christ my Savior let all glory be. In my heart I know my Savior lives. I can hear Him calling tenderly my name. Over sin and death He has prevailed. In His glory this new life we partake. In my heart, I know my Savior lives. In His glory, in His new life we partake. Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrucci. Please kneel. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have your presence so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late, and the day is coming to a close. And life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength, so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late, and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus! In this night of exile, stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. 
let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion with the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Mark proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remain humble. Do not forget, dumating kang walang dala, aalis kang walang dadalhin. Pero hari nawa, makapag-iwan ka na magandang alaala. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia. Magsiawit sa Panginoon. Puri. Ang kanyang pangalan Ipayag, ipayag Ang dulot niyang kalitasan Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon Alleluia Magsiawit sa Panginoon